Tantra does not mean unbridled promiscuity as Americans have projected it. Tantra means the technology. <laughs> there are many things if I say, things that happen around me, they're too fairy taleish. Suddenly, you become like life is a play, it's no more a struggle. Namaste. Uh, can you talk about mentalism? What's mentalism? Uh, mentalists like. Oh, mentalist, that movie. Yeah. Like that. Mentalism, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't… Uh, don't go by the Hollywood movie, a lot of things are exaggerated there, but can human mind do things outside? Of course, of course it can. Uh, today if I utter this word, uh, I'm sure there's a whole lot of misunderstanding because this comes from elsewhere. This is what tantra means. Tantra does not mean unbridled promiscuity as Americans have projected it. Tantra means the technology. Technology means when those times when we did not have any external instruments of technology, we realized the highest grade of technology is here. And to exercise this in many different ways. Now, uh, if we want to see outside the door, we need a periscope. Now somebody found a way to look beyond without a periscope. Using your mind beyond the realm of your body. Right now mind is functioning within the realm of your body, you want to use it there. It is possible to do that, it's not not possible. It's just that all kinds of wild and absurd things are believed. If you trim those things, in many ways, Knowingly or unknowingly, many of you are using this. You create what you want in the world when you really want it. In a way, it's simply your focus which mo makes those things happen. Maybe it is not as uh, tangible as uh, it's in a cinema, but every one of you to some extent you're doing, isn't it? How effectively do you do it? Depends on… Uh, <laughs> there are many things if I say, things that happen around me, they're too fairy taleish. I wouldn't believe such nonsense if anybody told me, so I won't tell you because I don't want you to believe or disbelieve those things. But every day people around me witness things which they think is nothing short of a miracle, but there's no miracle. Life is a big miracle. Are you a part of it or are you out of it? That's a big question. Isn't this a big miracle? This guy eats a noodle and becomes like this? <laughs> is it not a miracle, I'm asking? It is a miracle, isn't it? <laughs> Question is, are you consciously in it or are you out of it? That's a big question. If you're in it, you're… See, if you use any thought, this is… Uh, well, he was asking how do we do it in the beginning. Suppose you generate a thought. Have you noticed this? Suppose you generate a thought and then you invest your emotion in this thought, suddenly this thought becomes boom, huh? Yes or no? Right now, I generate a thought, oh, she is such a wonderful person. But now I invest my emotion into the thought. Now suddenly, you are not just another person to me, you are something else to me. Is it reality or no? Just because you invested your emotion into your thought, now there is a next thing. If you invest your life energies into it, consciously, suddenly this will become something else altogether. Suddenly, you become like life is a play, it's no more a struggle. Because miracles are always happening, you put a little seed, it becomes a tree, he eats a noodle, he becomes a man. Uh, I'm saying this is happening to… It's happening all the time, just see, you put filth into the root, just see it becomes fragrance. Is it… is this not miracles and miracles all over the place? The question is only, are you consciously a part of this miraculous creation or are you stuck in your own logic and outside this miracle? That's all the big difference is.